David, uh, some very nice runners on uh, Saturday. Yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing Eagle Falls coming back. Uh, he's headed towards the new market and I'm sure he'll be competitive Saturday. And I've got my new horse, Rebel Soldier, who's an English import. Um, probably be, it won't be, com you find the 14 a bit sharp Saturday, but um, I'm hoping to peak him for the Australian Cup. So he'd be a nice horse to follow. Yeah, Eagle Falls looks to be in the right race, uh, given that it's a Group 3. He hasn't raced in uh, Group 3 or listed company before. He's been right at the top end, so uh, looks like the right race for him on uh, Saturday. Is he fit enough? Yeah, I think he is. Um, like he presented in the new market, nearly won it last year and was unlucky in the Oakley Plate. So he's a genuine Group 1 performer without winning one. And uh, I, as you say, the, the slight drop back in class. It's a pretty good race, though. Um, uh, he'll appreciate it. Very good. And uh, in the Carline Cup, we've got Lariston and Val Rouge. Yes, uh, Val Rouge uh, on trial at the distance at a mile, but a last start Flemington winner. And Lariston, um, we're hoping, is a sort of Sydney slash Melbourne Cup horse for later in the year. Um, I'm very happy how he's going, and uh, he'll be finishing strongly late, we hope. Good. And a couple of. Uh Horses going through to the uh, the Blue Diamond, two horses that haven't raced before. How do you feel uh, they'll go? Yeah, we're leaving our run a bit late, but we've got a, the Readout's Choice horse, uh, Portier, is a promising horse. I think probably more a size horse. Um, he'll be doing his best work late. Uh, and we've got uh, Eremore, who's a winner at the course. So uh, in the Phillies race and an unraced barely a moment that um, <clears throat> I think will run well when she's heading towards the Blood Horse Breeders. Um, unfortunately this time of year everyone's got horses like that heading towards those races so they're very hard races. Mm -hmm.